Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Chronicles with Grover Games. So I did some grinding between episodes. Uh, I found out the gym leader's ace is actually level 26. So I decided to get everyone to level 26 and as you can see I also decided to evolve gum here. Just because I think it's going to help us out in the long run against this gym leader. I feel like I just have a bad feeling this gym's going to be really tough for some reason. I haven't... The only thing I looked at in the documents was, like I said, was that Gym Leader's Ace, and the documents actually have a spoil for, spoiler free section, so we don't we don't get to see what Pokemon Sh Whitney's is gonna have. I also replace, I also put caught ourselves a Vespa Queen in a bug catching contest off screen, and I think she's gonna be pretty useful here. I don't know for sure, but we're gonna give her a whirl. Uh, let's we'll take a deeper look at her. She's got pressure, obviously, and this. Her stats are not terrible, but they're not great. But the thing that I wanted her for was just the fact that she could learn Sludge Bomb, and especially since Whitney now is a oh, a fairy type gym leader. I feel like that's going to help out quite a bit. At least that's what I'm hoping is the best way to put it. But otherwise, we still got the same team members as before. Actually, I'm going to put put McQueen up front here. But as you see, we got McQueen here. Her stats hasn't really changed. I got Gex up, and I did a little bit of sp special attack EV training on him, and he's he's doing all right so far, but I changed one th move on him. I got rid of Leaf Blade for now, be just because I feel like Rock Tomb might help us if we need it for to like slow down any Pokemon, because I feel like, I think she's still gonna have her Militank, because so far in this game, nothing's really changed for the most part for aces, except the first gym leader. Uh, and I also got Maximus. He learned Sword Dance, and I got rid of... Oh, what did I get rid of for it? I figure Sword Dance might be helpful if we can get one set up, and then he could probably sweep a good portion of the team. But the issue is, this is fighting type. I don't know if he's going to survive a hit at all in this gym, depending on what moves they hit us with. And then we evolved Gum. I decided to evolve Gum because I feel like her stats are going to help us a little bit more. And I don't see us using Gum all the way to the end game, but I am not sure yet. And then we still got Louie here. He's still just a little guy, unfortunately. I was hoping he learned double hit soon, but we haven't gotten that. And then Cynthia is still the same here. So, uh, actually, I wonder. Okay. I was sitting there thinking... Maybe we should go teach her Flame Wheel instead, but I think Ember will be fine yet. It's not a whole big difference. And then I wanted to show you guys, I actually found an Elkid while I was grinding off screen, and he's got Electroizer, and I decided to name him ACDC. He's got pretty decent stats. The only thing that concerns me is his speed right now for attack, because I actually wouldn't mind. And I he also I also found him with Ice Punch, so I use like that Dexnev app to like chain find them. And I I kind of want to use him and turn him into Electivire, but the ish, thing I'm having an issue with is that Electivire ain't the fastest thing, and just the fact that we're taking a hit to speed already kind of deters me from using this one. But I'm not sure. We'll we'll see what I decide later on. If I decide to go try and find a different one with a little bit of a better nature we might but we'll see what happens in the long run but right now we're gonna start heading towards Whitney Jim, Whitney's gym and see if she's still as is gonna be as tough as she was when I was younger I have a feeling so I just have this bad feeling that she's not gonna be an easy battle like I felt like I felt like the first gym was average for the most part it was de it was definitely a little bit ch more challenging than it was in the normal game but then i also feel like oh i feel like the bug gym leader was actually somewhat easy i shouldn't say easy but it was still it was still somewhat of a little bit of a challenge but not a really big one so i have a, i just have the sinking feeling that whitney is not going to be an easy an easy fight and I'm hoping that gum can I'm hoping with our new team members and just the way I got everyone set up that we should be able to get through this first try at least that's what I'm hoping but I went all out to make sure we got to level 26 because I just have nightmares of that militank from when I was younger but let's take a dive on in and see how we do here 
Hi, I'm Whitney. You saw- You! I saw you at the radio tower talking with Mr. Aspirus. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. We specialize in Fairy-type Pokemon. They're really strong and cute Pokemon. You want to battle? I'm warning you. I'm good. Hopefully you have mercy on me, Whitney. I... Okay, so she has four Pokemon now versus the two back in the day. I'm pretty sure it was two. He had like a Clefairy and just Militank, if I remember right. What you... Oh! I forgot Granbull turned into a Fairy type. Oof. Um, he doesn't... So Granbull doesn't have Intimidate. I'm trying to remember what its other ability was. Um... Actually, I kind of want to set up a Defend Order and see if we can get a free Defense Boost. Because I don't know what it's going to do. Okay, it's using Charm. That's not the end of the world for us, so that'll let us get at least a free Defend Order off. Okay, so we got one plus one defense stage. Um, let's sledge bomb it. Oh, yeah. It has, ooh. It has Thunder Fang. I don't, I don't like that. But it didn't do too bad of a damage. Oh, yeah, I guess I forgot to mention. I put leftovers on McQueen, so. Uh, let's go for another sledge bomb. Okay, that's that's good. She, We're getting her to use her potion, super potions early. Oh, sweet, we got the poison. Oh, of course it has a Lumberry. Um, what are the chances she has another potion? Uh, I'm gonna take the risk and do a, go for a defend order. Cause I feel like just having Sludge Bomb Vespa Queen is going to help out a lot. And this is the first time I ever use a Vespa Queen, so it'll... It's going to be interesting. Oh, I guess I forgot to mention, too, when I did this bug catching contest off screen, I only got third place with her for being level 18. And I thought I was going to place higher, but, you know, the free two free citrus berries are really nice, so. Alright, so she's using Thunder Fang again. Good, we didn't get, we didn't get the fl flinch or paralysis. We got another poison off. So, I kind of want to go for a defend order again. Yeah, let's go for a defend order. See? Okay, so we got another defend order off. So we have pretty boosted defenses already. Because I feel like her grand bull is going to die to poison. There we go. And we got about half health now. So what's she bringing out? Okay. Wait. Is there... Did they change it? Okay. So Militank's fairy type now. That's interesting. Um, Hopefully you can survive at least one attack. Ooh. Okay. So, I think it was a good thing that we went for that two defend orders. Or three, that third defend order and let the poison finish off. But the concern is, I'm afraid that we're going to get flinched here at some point. And we also might actually run out of... Okay, so Militank has a Citrus Berry. I, sh I guess I should have expected that. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep using Sludge Bomb. Uh, of course it has Milk Drink. Maybe we can get a Poison off. So we're, we're actually back to about where we were before. I wonder if it's going to keep, yeah, it's going to keep using Milk Drink. So my question is... We hit it again with a sludge bomb. Oh, that... That was a... Oh, oh yeah. That is... Perfect. So since she's just gonna die next turn... 
What if we just go for a defend order? <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. So she's probably just gonna use Milk Drink again. I wonder how much power Jim's gonna... No, she's trying to... I thought for sure she was gonna go for the Milk Drink. But you know what, that's fine. Look at Vet McQueen putting in work on her debut episode. I knew it was a good idea when I found out that she could learn Sludge Bomb to bring her. And we got a Clefairy, so let's just Sludge Bomb that into the ground. I feel like Vest McQueen, McQueen could take that out. And, oh, nope, it's gonna be two hits. Her Clefairy has Play Rough? Ooh, interesting. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep going for Sludge Bomb. Okay. That's actually cool. Toga tick. Uh, well, we might as well go for a power gym, because it, it is flying, so we'll save some power points on that. Ooh. Um, hmm. I think it's going to be safe for us to go for the kill if we can. Yeah. Hopefully this kills. I mean, McQueen has already put in a load of work here. I don't think... I don't think this should be an issue. And I just... McQueen's got, like, really good bulk to her, I feel like. Overall. Which is kind of the way I brought her on the team and got rid of Shogun. Um... Um, do we just... I think we just try to wake up. I mean, we don't really have much to lose. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think Clefairy's got much... Especially with... I forgot how many... We got four Defend Orders up, so that actually helped us out a lot. And I think that's... That's a battle. That... That was... Could have not gone any better. McQueen with the sweep. You shouldn't be so serious, you you child, you. Thanks for the money, lady. You meanie. Well, the normal BS. You made Whitney cry? Don't take it personal. She always cries when she loses a battle. Talk with her again. She'll calm down soon. Freaking child. Sniff. What do you want? A badge? All oh, right, I forgot. Here's the plain badge. Uh, from such a plain trainer. The plain badge lets you use your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. Oh, you can have this too. Oh, hell yeah! That is a cool TM to get. It's play rough. It makes full use of a Pokemon's charm. Isn't it just perfect for a cutie like me? That's right. Your next goal is Icarate City. I heard a weird tree is blocking the path. What an inconvenience. So I wonder... Can anyone actually learn Play Ralph? Because that would actually be a cool TM to teach someone. Uh, well, obviously, Gum. But, Gum is more of a special attacker to begin with, anyways. Oh, yeah. I do not think that battle could have gone any better for us, to be honest with you. I was actually kind of concerned with that Militank, and that, that, gr like, that Gramble could have been a big threat, I feel like, but I, f I think we got fairly lucky that we were able to exploit the AI and its healing patterns. I didn't, th and sh just the fact she had a full heal and used it on the Militank kind of shocked me, especially when it had no health left, and just the fact it also didn't use Milk Drink. What do you have to say? When I told my sis about the jiggly tree, she told me it was more dangerous. If I beat Whitney, I okay. Can I have the water bottle? Water bottle. Oh, you're better than Whitney. He'll be okay. Then here's the squirt bottle. Just a little little, little squirtle. But so let's go. 
So I think we were very lucky with that gym battle. I think it could have gone a lot worse. I kind of wonder what that else that Grand Bull had. It probably had, obviously all her Pokemon had to have play rough, right? Since that was her signature TM. But I'm wondering what else it had, because... Well, to be honest with you, if Gramble used Play Rough, I feel like it would have... I feel like it would have done more damage than... Would have been better to use first Thunderfang on McQueen here. But I... I think we came out pretty clean on that. I feel like it could have gone a lot... A lot worse, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, I forgot. We got rid of Close Combat on Maximus. That's what I dropped. You know what? Let's actually go get that back quick. Since we're going to go be fight fighting that tree. We'll get rid of... We'll get rid of Leaf Blade. I don't think we really need that too much. Between... Between Slash and... Sut. Slash and... Oh, what's the other move? Oh, Slash and... Night Slash, ain't it? Yeah. Because we already got a Grass type, so we don't really need the Leaf Blade coverage anymore, I feel like, so... I'm kind of wondering when we're going to learn Cycle Cut, because that's... That's going to be really useful. I wonder if it... So I feel like we should have learned it by now. Get out of my way, kid. Oh yeah, gotta ride my bike. So I I am very happy with how that gym battle went. I like I said I was actually very concerned about the whole oh the whole militank thing. I I have too many too many nightmares about that dang cow drinking its own milk to heal itself. So we'll just keep running along here. Like oh yeah, that's right. It's a little bit it's a little off there. So, um, I'm trying to, trying to decide if it's worth trying to capture the Sudowoodle. Um, we'll see how much damage. So you learn Night Slash, that's fine. I think we'll, we'll go ahead and try and catch it if we can. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really prioritize it too much. Watch, this next night slash, I was going to say, was going to be a crit and kill it. Wow, that actually... Hmm. Interesting. I don't... Hmm. Your full look. Isn't this thing normally 20 at this point? Actually, you know what? I got a back. I got an idea. Where's Gum? We'll bring Gum in. And we'll we'll put it to Oh sweet, that actually worked out better than I thought it would. I was just planning to put it to sleep, so if we can hit a if we can hit a sleep sing. There we go. Uh Okay. How many great balls did I have left? Okay. I know I bought some off screen when I was doing the bug catching contest and uh, looking for the L kid. Cause I, st I really do want to use Electivire, but the thing is, with the way our team's shaping up, I kind of need, I think I need to find like a decent wall Pokemon. Uh, we're just gonna name you Woody. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, back. Woody. I don't think we're ever going to use you, Woody, but I know you're a special encounter, so... Wasn't this guy give us something? Yo, you cleared up the road! Have this reward for clearing the road for me. Okay, that's actually... That's not a bad find. Shadow Claw has increased critical hit to defeat anyone. Yeah, I wonder. 
Can we teach actually teach that to someone worthwhile? Or not really? Louie can Louie can learn it. That actually probably wouldn't be a bad idea for Louie to have it. He doesn't really have much elves going his way right now for decent attacks. I think we're gonna get rid of Dig. Yeah, let's get rid of Dig. Look at it. So, back to what I was saying about our team. We, I need to kind of think about who would make a decent, oh, not a necessarily wall, but who would be a, defe a decent defensive Pokemon to have on our team. Because I feel like the Elite Four in here is going to be actually somewhat tricky versus... Oh. Uh, like, compare it's going to be tricky, kind of like the... Oh. Oh, the Insurgents playthrough. So it's kind of one of those things that I'm kind of going back and forth in my head right now. Because they're... It there is a very specific water type I do want to get, and I think we might... I think the way I'm going to do it, just because I don't... I kind of took a peek at the next gym as well. So the next gym, the level cap is kind of... is their ace is level 30, which is going to be another kind of a good grind here when you think about it, because we don't really have a whole lot of space in between everything here. Uh, let's go with Night Slash. But we don't really have like a good gap in between bat like gym battles here. And just knowing how he's probably gonna have his Ace Gengar yet. I don't know what else he's gonna have for ghost types, just cause I didn't realize that they actually changed the typing on Militech, which I think was interesting, but I don't know if it really made sense to me. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it in the long run, but it was just... It was it was something that caught me off guard a little bit. Are you a drowsy trainer? Battle toy, okay. I saw something about their text saying sleep, so... Um, let's just night slash you. I really need you to learn Psycho Cut, Max Smith. So, and I'm just still kind of thinking back to, like, how I want to build. We're actually faster than Kadabra. That's a shock. I didn't think we would be. I wonder if he doesn't learn Cycle Cut till like, level 90. Look at that scope lens and all the high crit moves coming into clutch there. Okay. Um, hmm. So since we're here, let's go in here and get topped off quick. Yeah, let's heal. But, like I said, I'm... I don't know who would be a good, like, defensive type. Like, I could easily go get a Scyther again and get a get a scissor, but I kind of want to use some, like I said, I want to use something different. Have you visit, visit the Igatry dance hall? No, I haven't, kid. It's on my list. What do you have to say, man? Uh, something about the, talking about the Poké Flute waking up sleeping Pokemon. What do you have to say, fighter lady? Regardless of the time, people from Igorite City never forget their traditions. Okay. You have anything interesting to say? Grandma told me about the story of the Burn Tower and the Legend of the Rainbow Bird. So let's go in here. What do you have to say? Hee hee. The slots just reel in the dough big time. I just realized there was n there was no gam no game corner in Goldenrod. I don't think. I don't remember seeing one. I also don't remember looking for one. But there was like no fancy looking building as if there was a game corner. Mommy says if I'm a good girl, I will become a kimono girl someday. Isn't that exciting? In Icarite City, we b really believe the Trish's ancestors. That's why I don't like Goldenrod City. Well then, aren't you just a snob? Wait, is the dance hall gone now too? Oh, nope, there it is. Wait, 
There's a rocket grunt there. Hello. Hey, okay. Kate. The theater is now closed due to uh, mm, due to the weather. Yes, the weather. The legend of the Rainbow Bird poke has inspired many people to stand up, even if the worst things happen to you. Morty, the gym leader, believes that with a big effort, the Rainbow Bird will come from the skies one more time. Okay, man. Um, actually, you know what? While I'm thinking of it, let's step in here quick. I'm gonna buy ten great balls just just because it won't hurt us to get ten more. Just because we... I don't know what we're going to encounter on the routes yet. Um... Doo -doo -doo. Hey, I'm sure you're a tourist. Are you interested on in hearing the story of the big towers? Not really, man. It's fine. And the... Your champ in the main. Making. Boarded gym leader is not taking challenges right now. He's now exploring the burned tower ruins with his best friend. Come back. Wait, Morty has a best friend? I don't think that was in the game. There's a Marowak. Even if I try again, I cannot get how to cook like my wife does. I'm trying to teach my husband how to cook lava cookies. It's a secret recipe from where I used to live. Okay. I really enjoy going to the shore and finding precious, precious objects of my item fire. You should give it a try. Important things you may find hidden in the ground. Take this. Sweet. That was a da not a bad thing to find. Um, doo -doo -doo. I don't think I'll ever use it, to be honest with you. Uh, what's this building? Shrine. I don't think that... Was it called a shrine before? Uh, what do you have to say, super nerd? There's a secret passageway to go to the bell tower. Only feel okay. Well, I'm screwed. Before the Great Fire, the Brass Tower was an enormous tower. Now there is only a lot of burned wood here. The Burned Tower is just a memorial of that tragic day. At least this is the story, Grandma. Wait. Have you visit? No? In that case, what are you waiting for? Go and make your soul stronger. But what if I don't have a soul, man? You know what? I think that's... I think this is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. I don't have... We don't have much time left. We'll, and we'll come back and we'll explore the shrine. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching.